online dragons are making their way to the den. Two multi-millionaires who will make or break the dreams of cash-hungry entrepreneurs. The Online Dragons are two of the UK's most successful business people who built up their own fortunes from scratch. Edinburgh-based Shaf Rasool has amassed his fortune of over 82 million with IT technology and a global property portfolio. American by birth but now living here, Julie Meyer made her millions as a venture capitalist with her investment firm specialising in media and technology. The Dragons are ready to back the right business with their own money, but only the best will succeed. The entrepreneurs can ask the online Dragons for up to £50,000. They must be offered the full amount if they're to walk away with the backing they need. Alex Foreman from Torquay is hoping to persuade the Dragons to invest in his DIY invention. Hello, my name's uh, Alex Foreman and I'd like to demonstrate to you my device, the Ladder Buddy. Uh, I'm seeking, or would like, £30,000 for 20% of my business. Firstly, I'll show you the rudiments of the tool which is a ladder accessory. On ladders that people paint from today, conventionally, you buy from DIY stores. And this is the sort of thing you'll buy to hang from a ladder to paint with. Inside, in the middle, really not that convenient. What I've designed here is a clasp that will fit on either the left or right hand side of an extension ladder. Left and right. That's the basic rudiments of it. That have improved to this particular clasp, which now will fit onto the style of the ladder, the upright, push to the rung itself, attach to the rung. It'll also fit on a double extension when the ladder's in a four and one position against the wall, this gives you a level to take this tray. <clears throat> the tray itself is metal, very light and robust. It has inserts, like so, which will take a roller over nine inch. Disposable inserts, like so, like so. The paint roll-off tray, which sits inside the device like so. You're now ready to take your roller, your paint brushes, rag, whatever you wish, sandpaper, to your ladder. This will now flip into the clasp like so. You're now positioned to use the ladder with your roller and whatever you may wish. Added to the versatility of the tool, you can utilise the rest of the inserts, whatever you may wish, to carry tools. Because once you're on a ladder, at height, you generally have to walk up and down to get whatever you wish from the ground. Again, with this, we have the benefit of this being able to take the weight and it'll operate from the ground. That is the ladder, buddy. Thank you. Alex wants £30,000 for a 20% stake in ladder, buddy. It's probably not a device the dragons would have cause to use personally, but will they see a market for his clever gadget? Julie Meyer wants more background. Thank you, Alex. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Julie. Julie, I'm Julie. How did you come across this discovery invention? Is this your line of work? You've been doing it, this for years been. and years? Yeah. It was by accident, really. I dropped something off the ladder uh -huh. and realised I had to walk all the way down to get it. Uh -huh. And I thought, I need, really, I need it here with me, yeah. <coughs> not on the floor. So did you do kind of an impromptu one? And then you, figured, and then you said, how can I yeah. 
kind of make this a, a widget that works in all situations. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to find an item I could buy right. that would do what yeah, I wanted. Sure. And did you, find any, did you find anything close? No, what is available is basically on the internet. The major stores carry, as I showed you, just basic, yeah. basic product. And they all carry the same product. It's a very hard nut to crack, but with the states, um, what in, uh, the intention is to find a marketplace initially through uh, the smaller stores, chain stores, yeah. and try and progress onto the majors. Can we just go through the tooling and the production costs? Certainly, by all means. Yeah, what would it cost you to, to make the tools for, this, for the factory? The actual tooling itself, complete, is about £1,300, 1300 The um, production cost per item, complete, finished, is about £3.90. On discussion with the agents that I've dealt with in the States, we've discussed price point, they recommend about £15 retail. To wholesale it at about £9.60 would give you a five, about £5.50, £5.60 gross on your turnover. With decent margins and an apparent gap in the market, Alex seems to have grabbed the Dragon's attention with his ladder buddy. Chef Razul wants to get down to the figures. So what would you propose to do with the, the £30,000? I'd like to produce 2,000 pieces, which is 8,000 pounds. L let's say 1,500 pounds to round it off to, for the tooling. Okay, so we're at nine and a half. Yeah, nine and a half. I, I would like the, um, a, a contingency of, uh, to reorder, again, another 9,000 pounds. I'd need about 3,000 personally over three months. What would you need that for? Um, I'd, I'd have to go hands off what I'm doing at the moment to live to spend time on this. And what would we get for our 3,000 pounds? Um, effectively, I'd, I'd place it in everywhere I possibly could, retrack all my steps on anybody that's interested and say I'm ready to go with it. Can I ask, can I ask you a question? Why didn't you licence this product? I'm, I'm not particularly interested in licensing. Why aren't you interested in licensing? Um, it's mainly because of the options that are available out there that I'd like to pursue. You, you kind of see this as just launching you into a series of inventions, a couple of different DIY products, don't you? You've got I, some I, other I, ideas and you went, I, kind I, of want to get this one away with 30 grand and then you've got a couple more you want to spill out. Is that what some, you're going to use some of the funds for some of the other products? Most maybe certainly. Associated? Yes, most yeah. certainly. Alex is fielding questions about the product with confidence but has yet to prove his business credentials. It's a concern for Chef Razul and one he needs to resolve. I think, essentially, you do have a great idea, OK? Um, just a, a sort of personal question. How would you describe yourself? Would you say you're an entrepreneur? If, like, if creating things and changing things and enjoying changing things is being an entrepreneur, that's me. No, that's an inventor. Yeah, so you, you're not really an entrepreneur. Oh, I see what you mean, on the financial side. Yeah, you're not really an entrepreneur, you're an inventor. You, do, you know how to invent things, but you don't know how to monetize them. I, I, I must admit, finance has been the problem. I could, it's, I could not, it's not about finance. There's, you know, I'm just sitting here looking at this product, uh -huh. and I could probably monetize this very easily. Yes. Okay, but I certainly wouldn't be having somebody manufacture it for me. I'd just license it. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's the way I would attack Well, that's why I'm stood here, for advice. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had uh, some thoughts about maybe bringing in a commercial director to work with you so that you could take charge of the product development because there's, there's some, some clever thinking and maybe somebody else could figure out what the best deal is to get the products to market. Have you thought about that? I, I have, but if I have to employ somebody, yep. I, I have a wage commitment. Mm -hmm. have I you also thought... have somebody that doesn't understand fully until I bring them up to speed what this is about and the, mm -hmm. the groundwork I've already done. I'm not one-man band, but it's... I have lots of information. I'm prepared to share it with whoever's interested. Mm -hmm.